Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. The vlog for the week and the vlog for the interim limbo week in between New York Fashion Week and Milan Fashion Week. Ordinarily, I would usually partake in London Fashion Week. I must admit that it does become quite, quite tiring to do all four weeks. So um, I am taking this London Fashion Week off this season and I'm staying at home to rejuvenate and replenish my energy stores. Do you know I'm so happy about it? Today is Saturday. Thus far, we woke up at half past nine. Alex made me my bean naan smoothie. <laughs> Alex every time says, you need to come up with a new name, babe. That's a rubbish name, but I'm like, no, bean nana smoothie, as in coffee bean and banana smoothie. I think it's genius. Personally, um, he doesn't. So pretty much it's my coffee banana smoothie and I, I went to bed dreaming of it, like literally dreaming about it. So the fact that they then made it this morning is just, um, he's a gem, he's a real gem. I've wanted to stay at home this week until Milan so much that I think I turned down maybe three jobs this week, three different jobs, because I just knew that my mental health would suffer. And all I wanted was to be with my dog like literally with my baby and in my house with my husband and just having time for myself. Like, that's all I wanted. I really did look after my mental health this week, probably more than I ever have, like the amount of things I've turned down. Anyway, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of skincare because we're gonna take the boy out for a little walk round. I wanna buy some lemons. <laughs> I wanna make my delicious lemon tonic drink. So yeah, so that's all I'm doing. So I've just put on the new, um, can you even see this? Sorry, my, it's cause my mirror covers a little bit of I know I did, I did an ad on this. It's a new magic water cream from Charlotte Tilbury. It's genuinely amazing. It's now fragrance free. Apparently that was a big qualm of the magic cream. It's fragrance free. It's got niacinamide that seriously like smooths and fills in pores. And um, I mean, it's got a lot of incredible ingredients inside of this that really do help to almost like plump up the skin, give it like ultimate hydration. Um, and like water locking technologies and everything. But it says that after 28 seconds, you'll notice the difference. And honestly, genuinely, that's not just a marketing spiel. I genuinely think this looks insane on the skin. Like I'm, I'm a massive convert. I've got this now next to my mirror, ready to be used every day. However, I went to Sephora in America and bought some new things. One of which was this, Beyond Triple Serum, SPF 40 from Ilia. SPF 40, vitamin C, niacinamide and allotoin, plus a zinc oxide 10% sunscreen. I tried a little tiny bit in the sh in the store. I've gone for tone number one. I think I had four tones, but I just thought this might be the ultimate. See, that's tone one. I thought this might be me like the ultimate glass skin product. I mean, it is lovely. Like as much as you see that colour, you don't really get that colour on the skin. It's very... This is very lightweight. Like a little touch of it, it warms up the skin a tiny bit. But obviously the reason I've only got four tones is because you don't really need, it's not really a tonal product. It's like a glow at most. So this is much more universal and that looks great. For these days when I'm not doing anything, but I just want to be able to look in a mirror and not look like a ghost. That's, I mean, look how lovely that is. That's a lovely combo. Really lovely combo. Because I also bought another one of these skin serum tints too. I bought this one this time in Formosa. The team originally sent me the shade Tulum. It's gorgeous, it's just quite light. I stick by the fact that I really hate the smell of this. It's like an off Play-Doh smell. But I'm just gonna put a tiny touch of this on as well. That's in the shade Formosa. I also have absolutely zero tan on right now. I just took off all my tan so that I'd be ready for Milano. So yeah, I went into Sephora and did a little haul. Just did a little haul in Sephora, which made me happy. Um, so yeah, so those are two of the products that I bought. And honestly, look at my skin. That's, that's how I want my skin to look every day. So I bought those. What else did I buy? Oh my God, I can't, oh, sorry. I also bought the Super Goop. I don't need to put that on right now. My God, that would be overload. But this is like an SPF 40 broad spectrum. Very similar really to what I've just shown you this. This is more of a serum though. This is filled with more skincare. I mean, this has got a lot of different sunscreens inside of it. A bit of a primer, highlighter. I just wanted to try them. I'm really into this kind of makeup right now. And it's just so nice and easy when you walk into Sephora and they're all there. So I don't have to order them online. So 
I bought a new Anastasia brow wax, brow freeze, because I feel like mine has stopped working and it's been really annoying me. So just let me give this a go and just see if I can get this to work again for me. I used to always wear this and I used to put it up through my brows and it would hold my brows so amazingly. But I feel like recently I can't get them to stay and I think it's that I've got an old brow freeze that I've left. I think if you leave this without a top on, it's like it deactivates it. Let me know if anyone else has experienced that, but that's how I feel. This is holding a lot better. It's got some little ABH, little ABH brow scissors. My brow hairs grow so quick. God, this is so much better. So much better. Ah, putting the lid back on that. Okay, little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I always like to keep these teeny tiny little pencils because they're perfect for when you've got a mini bag. This is the Carolina Herrera, the new lip and cheek blushes. This is shade 31101 and they make absolutely beautiful blush and cheek stains. You know, Alex, just want to say the biggest thank you for all of the absolutely amazing feedback we've both had on the New York vlog. Um, safe to say, I think so many of you reckon it's probably one of our best vlogs ever. And Alex personally has had so many personal DMs to say how brilliant it is. And it's really blown us away, like the feedback has been like out of this world. And it's just, it's amazing because obviously the amount of time that Alex personally spent on that, that edit, it's amazing to get that sort of feedback. So huge thank you to everyone who messaged and said that they enjoyed it. Right, that's all I wanted, just a very light amount of makeup and some SPF. Right, anyway, I have something that I want to talk to you about in a little bit after we've been for our walk, but we're just gonna take the dog out for a minute. Darling, do you want to come sit with me? You're gonna come sit here. Yeah, come and get your bed. Cutie. Put this. I can't tell you how heavy this is. I'm gonna put this down. One second. So in this box, I've had this box in the garage, and I haven't looked at it for some time. But in here, I have all of my different blogging and career awards, I suppose. I got thinking right the day, thinking where have I put all of my awards and I remembered. I've got them all inside this safe box and it's because I've been waiting for my office to be finished so I could display some of my awards properly. It also coincides wonderfully with the fact that we just hit 900,000 subscribers. But ge genuinely, I cannot believe that we've reached that many, that many people that are here to watch like our daily life and what we're up to. It's, it makes me so, so proud what I have sort of achieved with this channel and how much passion I still have for it. I genuinely owe so much to YouTube. And I talk about this so much actually with other fellow creators who chat to me about what they're doing and sometimes like their woes about the industry and everything else and I say, why don't you think about starting a YouTube channel? I, I can't tell you how many people I have spoken to about this. I remember years ago, I went to a conference in Dallas with Reward Style and I spoke on a panel in front of maybe 300 creators and that was back then, that was seven, eight years ago. And the advice I gave was, you need to start a YouTube channel because there's so much that I owe to this YouTube channel. It's like my 11th year next month, 11 years of, in the fro and being a blogger and a YouTuber. Well, being a blogger. And then I started a YouTube about a year in, I think. So it's about 10 years that I've been on YouTube. In honesty, I feel like some of the achievements that I make on my YouTube channel, it almost means more being on YouTube. And I think that's because not as many people have a YouTube channel. There are so many Instagrammers and there are so many TikTokers now. But I feel like not that many people have branched into creating long form video content. YouTube allows so many other creative freedoms. And a few of those I wanna go into one second, but look, this is my 100,000 plaque. It needs a bit of a spruce up. <laughs> but like I say, I've not had this out because I've been waiting for my office to be built. And it means now that I can proudly show off some of these awards that I've 
worked so hard for but this was 100,000 subscribers and I think I I reached this does it say the date no it doesn't um I think I reached 100,000 subscribers maybe after 18 months maybe two years something like that let's put this here <laughs> It means a lot to me, this, this channel. It gives me so many creative freedoms. For example, like I mentioned, the fact that so many of you watch our New York Fashion Week vlogs. I really enjoy making the vlogs because I have the channel to create them on. A lot of other creators who go to Fashion Weeks, they don't have a vlogging channel. And so they can't really make a long form video in the way that we can. And so I kind of see that as like a lovely extra that we can provide for you guys that gives you a real insight and a behind the scenes into what actually happens during fashion week. And so I feel like if I have this channel to show that on then why not? You know, as much as I can show you pictures and I can show you little short videos, it's not quite the same. Um, but equally, now that there's YouTube Shorts, I don't know if you guys have seen, but I do a lot more YouTube Shorts now. Even if you don't want to make long form video, you don't have to now. You can make shorts, they're a minute long. You can talk about your niche or you can talk about anything. You can be like, you can just use any of your own creative freedom on it. You can also do live videos. You can do podcasts on YouTube. You know, it just gives you all this different freedom. So here I have, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find the first one, like the first dated one. Oh, maybe it's this one. What oh, that one? This is my first one. Company magazine. Who remembers Company magazine? It was fantastic. It was a gorgeous, thin magazine that they printed, I think, on recycled paper. And it was brilliant. And I, I won Best Personal Style Newcomer Blog in association with new look for in the fro.com in 2013 so i started my blog in october 2012 so the next year i won best newcomer that's unreal then the year after in 2014 i won the best personal style blog so i won newcomer and then I, the next year i won the best personal style blog in association with misguided in the for in the fro.com by the way i still have in the fro.com just in case you didn't didn't know about it but yeah I still I still blog I still blog all this time we do about two or three posts a week if we can if we're not too busy to write them so that was then and then in 2017 wait no what's this one 2017 I won the Vuelio blog awards 2017 I really appreciate the Vuelio blog awards because it's not just a voted thing, like they actually go off statistics and consistency of blog posts, statistics of how many people reach your site, etc. So to win best fashion blog, I kind of felt it had a real uh, gravitas to it and I'm very, very proud of that. Um, so I won 2017, then I won in 2018 best UK blog and also in, in 2018, I won best women's fashion blog, which is like, it's unbelievable. Um, and then in 2017, I also won the Northern Blog Awards. So amazing to be appreciated also in my Northern area. So yeah, just unreal. Uh, what's this one? Oh, 2017, the Johnson Johnson Awards for Best Established Beauty Vlogger. So this was for vlogging. So this again was like a YouTube award for vlogging. So it's just insane, like the amount of amazing things that have kind of come from my YouTube channel. I mean, the fact that we're now at 900,000 subscribers blows my mind. But I mean, I, I started a YouTube channel though in the first place because, because I wanted to have like a voice online. I felt that through imagery alone on my other channels that people didn't know anything about me. They didn't know what I sounded like. They didn't know what my morals were, they didn't know what my mannerisms were like and, and all these things I think really add to how much people are able to accept you online and, and how much people are able to relate to you or to understand you better and I think that's why so many of you guys have followed me for so many years because you've been here and you understand me and my family life um, You've seen the wedding on YouTube, you know, it brought you along for the wedding. I even showed you, I even documented the entire process of having my wedding dress created and designed, which I often watch back because it's a really beautiful video. I vlogged the wedding, well, I well, I didn't really vlog it. Rebecca vlogged the wedding for me. And we also had um, videographers and I posted that onto YouTube. So, you know, I've brought you along for all of these 
wonderful moments. I'll also be vlogging the honeymoon. So again, that's a special moment that I can keep and show you. When we moved to the countryside and we bought a house for the first time, but even the engagement vlog, I, I vlogged our engagement moment. I mean, Alex managed to vlog it. I didn't even know it was happening, but that, that's on YouTube. And also, like, there's also been so many life moments in there, such as my friends giving birth, my, when my granddad passed. You know, I think I even maybe put my mum's, a bit of my mum's wedding on there or my cousin's wedding. You know, there's just been so many wonderful things that I can now look back on and remember. And also, I've been able to share with all of you. And, you know, that's what I think really creates a family on YouTube. Like, I don't get that feeling. I don't get that wonderful sense of knowing you and this community feeling from any other channel in the same way. Like, that's what I mean when I say everything just feels more worth it. Everything just feels like it means more. This is just a codely elixir. The new blush is from Atta Beauty by Atta Jewel. And this is shade Watson Watermelon. How gorgeous, creamy, creamy blush. Oh, it's super dewy. Oh, it's gorgeous. Like that looks like it'd be so strong. And I had a feeling that these would probably sheer out and just build up beautifully. And that is so, so pretty. I just realized, I just realized as well, a really important moment. And really, another really amazing moment that I shared, of course, is when we got Bo. Like when we literally got our baby and brought him home that whole thing is documented. And again, that's a vlog that I watch continuously. It's just a really, really nice moment. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm, I'm just so passionate about this channel and I really do owe so much to the fact that I started a YouTube channel. I'm so glad I did all those years ago. Sorry, this is a new blush from Dior, but I'm gonna use it as a bit of a bronzer. This is the new Rouge Blush in Grand Bal Satin 537. Look at that. Hmm. This is so gorgeous. I'll just blend it through that and just do that a bit more. Yeah, like I said, this is meant to be a blush, but I thought the shade would be quite a pretty bronzy shade, especially through the eye. Look. Gosh, it's really pigmented. Bring this back though to my main point. The fact that we now are able to bring you along for Fashion Week and we spend so long on these vlogs to bring you almost like a little mini documentary of the week. Like that's what we really enjoy the most. Alex absolutely lives for making these vlogs. He loves them. And so when we get the feedback, like the past week, like even my mum sent me and Alex both a message this morning that said, big long message. In fact, let, let me read it to you. She said, I've just finished watching your New York video and have to say that it was absolutely incredible. Everything about it was so brilliantly executed. It really allows the audience to see just how crazy and fast the whole process of Fashion Week is. Your love of food really shines through <laughs> and those zucchini crisp things look so delicious. She's right, I do like to show off my love of food. <laughs> Alex did an excellent job of filming and editing again, a fantastic job all around. It's hard to think of enough superlatives to describe your professionalism and creativity in putting these videos together. Well done to the team once again, particularly for the quick release of this video, you're amazing. Oh, oh God, made me emotion. It's really wonderful, like that kind of feedback, but I can't tell you how many people have also DM'd us very, very similar messages to that just saying how much they enjoyed it. So thanks guys, and I'm so glad you enjoy them. Um, it really spurs us on to keep creating more. By the way, this isn't a lip liner, this is actually the Victoria Beckham brow, her new baby blade, but it makes a really fantastic lip liner shade too. This is in taupe, I think, yeah. So I guess what I'm saying is here, guys, if you've been thinking about starting as an influencer or a, or a content creator, as I much prefer it, if you're thinking of starting a career in it, I would honestly so recommend starting a YouTube channel. Yes, it's the channel that does often require a little bit more hard work and consistency, and it takes a little longer to edit if you're doing long form. But if you're not into doing long form, then there's also shorts, you know? You don't need to spend hours editing if you don't want to. If you want to make long form, fantastic. And I truly think it's a brilliant way to actually connect with people and to really provide a storyline and a journey and, and to give a lot more value. Whether that's you baking or talking about your favorite books, maybe that's you doing shopping hauls, maybe you're worried about starting it. I genuinely, I would so recommend giving it a go. 
NARS Afterglow Balm in Breathless. And I'm just going to put on the, the new Vive Modern Mascara. My brother, for example, I think he was really inspired by what I had done on my YouTube channel, that he started making his own long form videos himself, but for his own interests, which is centered around fell walking um, and the British countryside. So yeah, regardless of what your niche is, there's a place for you on, on YouTube for sure. From 100,000 to now 900,000 of you, I'm truly so grateful. So thank you for being here, guys, honestly. What a mess, I've made a right mess. I picked up some ingredients for dinner to get ready. I'm just gonna wash my lemon. I think I've shown you this recipe on here. It's recently been picked up by a news outlet who's kind of covered it. And so I figured I'll show you on YouTube as well. It's delicious. It's just like a really refreshing drink. Personally for me, this isn't me giving you health advice in any way. Do what you like with what you wanna eat and drink. But for me, I find um, this super refreshing and I find it, it helps me with my own personal bloating. So that's why I like it. It's just got good ingredients in it really. Anyway, you put in the whole lemon plus rind, which is why you wash it. Then it's one and a half cups of water. I'm using filtered because I'm bougie apparently. You want to add like a tablespoon of honey. You want to add two dates. Some people add three dates, some people add no dates. Totally up to you how sweet you want it or not. The main sort of ingredient though that makes this creamy is extra virgin olive oil and you add a tablespoon amount of that as well. Then you want to add a knob of ginger and I'm going to add a little dash of cinnamon. It's literally, it's literally just ingredients that are all really good for you like lemon, extra virgin olive oil, cinnamon, garlic, water. <laughs> Dates add a bit of sweetness but for me it's just, a, I just find it super refreshing as like a daytime, daytime drink, even better if you drink it first thing in the morning. I've added all that into the Thermomix and you just want to whiz it up very high for a couple of minutes. I've just done two and a half minutes on 10, so it's absolutely blasted it. Now there likely isn't gonna be any bits at all left in this, but what I do is I take a sieve that isn't that um, tightly wound. Like I have one, for example, that is really, really teeny tiny holes. This isn't too small. Um, and I use a jug like this, pour it through, Someone asked why bother doing it like this, it's because this is so much quicker. I was doing it into a tiny little cup at one point and the sieve was getting full because it was a tiny sieve and I'm like, I've not got all day to wait for this to sieve. Whereas this literally takes 10 seconds and then it's gone. But that's all that's left. Um, and of course, if you don't mind bits and you want extra fiber, drink that. I just don't like bits, so I need to get rid of them. Plus there's gonna be so much fiber in that and you know what fibre does. Right, and then what I do is now that it's sieved, I have, here I have chia seeds that I've ground up and I just take like half a teaspoon and mix that in. Chia seeds are just, again, just, it's, it's all just really good superfoods for your, your belly. And that's it, that is literally it now. And I will just take a glass with some ice, pour it over some ice. Some people literally have a shot of it. Some people have full glasses of it. It depends how tolerant your stomach is or not. And then over ice, mm, you get this like citrus burst, but the creaminess of the olive oil really dampens it into this very creamy taste. So if you like lemon, you'll lo really love it. If you like ginger, you'll love it. You can add more sweetness and put another date in. You can add a bit more cinnamon on top if you want to. Mmm, it's so refreshing. That's the rest of that. That's how much I've made, like enough for that and this. I'm just gonna keep it in the fridge and it will probably last about a day or so. Good morning, guys. I have just received a parcel and I've been waiting for this since before New York. So, let's just see what we think. I have given in and bought the matching pinstripe YSL skirt to match my blazer. I'm still not sure if it's overly, fully, overly necessary or not. Oh, it, it is pretty though. It is pretty, one sec. So this is said blazer. Ow! Oh God, my ankles are absolutely torn apart. Um, so this is the blazer. 
Wait, they're not the same colour. Oh, they're not the same colour. Oh my God, that is such a shame. That is such a shame. Look, this is like a black blue. This is a blue blue. Why? That's so weird. Cause it's almost exact. It's almost exact same pinstripe. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Hmm. Maybe this is an omen. Maybe this is a sign. That's better. Let me put this back together and pack it back. And I can send this back tomorrow. Get my money back for it. Because today, this is one of my favorite videos <laughs> to film actually. Um, I want to do my autumnal clear out. So that's why I'm in my very comfy tank, little lacy bra and very creased jeans. Alex, bless him, has been doing all of the washing. I need to wash my jeans, but because of, because of that, they're a bit creased. So you'll have to just not mind my appearance today. I'm just going to do full on closet clear out for the start of autumn because this is what I find helps me work out my outfits better. I can see pieces I own. I can kind of understand how to style things together. It's almost like a full on refresh of what I actually own and don't. And just to put in here as well, I have an over the top amount of clothes because of what I do. And of course, I'm often very kindly sent clothes or I buy more or I work on projects that is around clothing and is hopefully inspiring you guys for a piece or two to put into your own wardrobe. And so therefore I buy more than the average person ever would. And that's why I have to clear out more than the average person ever would. Uh, but often I'll either give so much to charity or I give them to friends and family or I will sell them on my Depop. Um, so yeah, so let's, Let's do it. By the way, before I start, I just got sent the most beautiful new pieces from Elizabeth Scarlet. I think I mentioned um, her bags the other day when I was packing up my makeup for the next trip. I always have Elizabeth Scarlet makeup bags because they just fit so much in and they're really um, like malleable and you know they go into your suitcase really well without being too structured. She sent me a few new pieces. These are new makeup bags that she's created where you can have them embroidered with your letter, which is so cute. And then this one is a laptop sleeve. So I'll be able to put, I'm going to put my new Lenovo in this um, and take this around because I love having that now for watching movies on the plane, for watching like YouTube, for example, when I'm doing my makeup in hotel rooms. So that's beautiful. So I have those, so thank you so much. Oh, and she also sent me, she also does, look how gorgeous, she also does eye masks. Full velvet eye mask, beautiful. So again, I'm gonna take this on my, for my Milan flights. Get a bag to keep it in as well, which I always prefer, just keeps it much more hygienic. I'm going to put on some socks. I'm also finishing off the end of my lemon drink. Oh, oh my God, also, also what's this here? I have become beyond obsessed with this fragrance. The YSL Libre. I was sat next to a girl at the Tory Burch show who was wearing, oh my God, it's so good. Who was wearing this. And I was like, can I ask what your perfume is? Like, I really recognize it, but I can't work it out. She was like, YSL Libre. And I was like, okay, I have that at home. I need to bust this out. It is unreal and you need to smell the new men's. Oh, I think it's called Myself, spelt M-Y-S-L-F. It is heaven, ladies. If you want your man to smell super nice right now, you will not go wrong with that scent. It's insane, but it's got similar notes to this one. So they're almost a bit of a his and hers vibe. It is just incredible. It's like, it's a people pleaser scent. Like, oh, stunning. Anyway, welcome to the craziness. To be fair, ever since I, I started keeping my body suits up here rolled, that's been great. So handy keeping them up here. It's, for the most part, I've kept them really quite neat. Um, and especially for autumn, these will come into their own. I've not really been wearing my body suits too much for summer, but they're the perfect layering piece when it comes to autumn. And I have a body suit in every single color imaginable. This is a Skims one. I've got Jill Sander, Holm Cooper, uh, Wolford. Those are my usual body suits. So they're all up there. And then up here, again, it's not too bad. I've got most of my Kate tops. This is an Altazara top, Max Mara, Sunkai. Do I want to get rid of anything in this pile? I don't think so. I might get rid of this Mara Hoffman bodysuit. Cute little pink body can go. I might part with this Jonathan Sunkai top. 
think the thing here for me is if I haven't worn it recently, then it needs to go. I think I'm gonna part with this Frankie Shop shirt, mainly because as beautiful as it is, I feel like the color slightly washes me out. The time that I wore it, I felt it really washed me out. It's quite a pinky cream. and I think it goes against my skin tone a little bit. I think I'm gonna part with my Archival Pamper top. I literally used to adore this top, but for me now, my style, it's just a bit too frilly. I love it, that'll likely go on Depop, guys. Same with this Zimmerman. Again, it's so stunning, but it's just a little bit too flouncy for me. Same with this Helmut Lang shirt. I'm being brutal, I'm being brutal today, but I haven't worn this in ages, so. My white shirt collection is being brutally attacked right now. Jacques Mousse shirt with the gorgeous little belt around the middle. I'm going to part with that only because I still have this beautiful Mew Mew crop shirt. So if I need a crop shirt, I've got the Mew Mew. I also have the Sundar Bay crop, which is just gorgeous. I remember when I wore this on TikTok and people went mad for it. So many beautiful Lily Silk shirts. If I need any silk, black and white. I've got olive green, navy blue, and then blue and white. Do I sell this Versace? No, I still love it, still love it. Cute little Dior jacket. God, it's got so many weird colour marks on this. They're everywhere. How weird. This is one of the oldest things that I own, this Whistles little jacket. It's such a great throw on piece. I'm gonna keep some of these more like gilet items. This is my beautiful Victoria, Holland Cooper Victoria knit. We still have this. It's so stunning and it's coming into the season when I can really wear this, which is just great. As we launched this a few months back and it started to get hot, so I couldn't wear it. Whereas now, it is becoming the time, so I am really excited about that. My waistcoat collection again will come into its own. I've got Helmut Lang. I've got three on one here. My beautiful Holland Cooper collection one. I have uh, Weekend Max Mara, which is cream, and I also have Wardrobe NYC, and for some reason I've still got the tag in it. Still love that cardigan. It's just such an easy cardigan. I've got my Burberry cardigan. I've got my Gucci cardigan. Again, not giving that up white arch for cashmere which is just stunning and then this blue lisette i've kind of got every color of cardigan and again it's almost cardigan season great this closet has been cleared out far more succinct i only have um six or seven white shirts left it's a lot for me guys you know at one point i probably had like 15. coordinated i just have lots of different co different colors of cotton shirts different types of white shirts, silk shirts in different colours, a couple of bits of knits that hung, not many, um, waistcoats, cardigans, and then trousers, and then up here in knit tops, and then all of my bodysuits. Now this one's going to be difficult because this is my pride and joy. It's my blazer collection. You can see a couple of rogue hangers I've gotten mixed up in here, which always takes up more room than necessary. Beautiful Holland Cooper jacket, launching October 11th. Can't wait for that day. Being right next to a tweed YSL. I feel like recently, only recently, did I clear out this particular area and neatened it up a lot. Sometimes it's good just to look through everything, see it again, check you love it, have a look at like the dimensions and think about how you'd wear things. Weekend Max Mara blazer. This is the gorgeous Holland Cooper white linen. I might actually put this into my summer wardrobe downstairs um, and then bring it back out for summer again because it's so white. And I have, in replacement, my beautiful cream Holland Cooper suit. In honesty, I will always wear this suit over the white linen. One, because it's my collection. Um, and obviously I designed it with my love of structuring in mind, so it's much more me. I haven't had the time to wear this yet, this incredible Aja. It's like a faux leather long jacket. It's really, really gorgeous. Reese cropped blazer needs to stay because I don't have any other crop white blazers. Beautiful crop Burberry trench. I need to wear this more. This beautiful Sandro blazer. Cropped Scylla McCartney, still probably one of my most worn blazers. The Isabel Marant blazer that again, I've worn to death. This is a beautiful blazer from LM, LMA, LMA maybe, uh, Paris. Stunning, and it goes with a pair of matching high-waisted trousers and I've been meaning to get them fixed. Currently being shortened, 
by um, the seam. I finally, finally utilised the seam. I've been hearing about them everywhere. I know that Netta Porte use them for all of their alterations. I've sent them off, so hopefully I can start wearing this soon. I'm holding out hope. This shack mousse, it really needs, I'm gonna give this a really good steam later because it's lost its shape since it was washed. Lily and Lionel, beautiful beige herringbone. And I have the matching trousers, so I don't wanna get rid of that. Jacques Mousse blazer, again, it's just amazing. Now, this is one I don't wear enough, this Stella, and it's got gorgeous yellow around the top edge of the blazer, and it's really quite cool. I don't think that's me anymore. I'm going to very reluctantly sell that. I'll put that on Depop. Burberry. Then I've got the Saint Laurent, I've got mine. I've got a beautiful mustard coloured Saint Laurent blazer. What do you think, guys? I might actually sell it. I'm trying to be so brutal today and I haven't worn this in a really long time. And I've got the Saint Laurent leather jacket. I mean, the best thing I own. Pinstripe blazer. Any suits that match, I like to keep them on the same hanger. So you can stick together. Black Gucci cropped blazer. Alice and Olivia satin blazer, Bottega blazer, Jacques Mousse jacket, Saint Laurent. This was like one of the first ones I bought and haven't worn it in a little moment. The fit of YSL blazers are just supreme. Look, it's why I buy so many. Jacques Mousse black blazer. Frankie Shop green. Frankie Shop blazers really are just such a great, cool over piece. Love. I have my Chanel's. My Chanel green and my Chanel pink. And in honesty, I bought this pink one, which I adore, it's absolutely beautiful, but I bought it before I kind of changed up my style from being so cutesy. I'm gonna keep it though for now. I've done a lot better there with the the blazers than I expected I would. This is so much better. So I've got my t-shirts up top, all of my tanks and vests. This is like more cropped or camisole styles. And then my blazer collection, which obviously has a bit of a theme. So this is everything that I'm thinking of giving to friends, putting on my Depop or giving to charity. I'm gonna sell my Dior t-shirts. Got a couple of those, I just don't really wear them anymore. Some great shirts in here. I did decide on giving away that Whistles jacket, the one that I said I've had for years, because I was like, do you know what? As much as I love it, I haven't worn it. Margiela t-shirt. Yeah, another, another Dior. Um, because I've already pulled out so much, I think I'm gonna end it here. Otherwise, it's gonna be far too long. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my Sunday and chill a little bit more. I'm feeling a lot more inspired now by what I own. Also, these kind of videos, doing closet clear outs, these super long form videos. Another reason why YouTube has been so good to me because you can't really do this sort of thing on any other channel. When I get my new closet, I'm gonna be designing my new closet soon. And I've got a bit of a vague idea of the overall style of what I want and it will be a lot better. It'll just be a lot more efficient. And when that's done, it'll be great. I'll be able to really show you then my full collection and where everything goes. I can't wait for that. I went and got my overnight oats. I made overnight oats last night. And after that, it just gave me this massive boost of energy and I was like, Let's continue tackling everything. So I've done my jeans drawer, my knitwear, my, and all my dresses and play suits and winter dresses. So literally everything has been done now. Majority has been done. I've got a little bit more knitwear to do because I break up my knitwear into three different sections. And I have hoodies, jumpers, and then roll necks, that will do. Reason being, I'm about to just nip out now to get my pedicure. I'm gonna go get a pedicure. Mm. I could not find this Laneige cream skin in Sephora last week. I'm really upset about it. I really would like it back, please. But I just thought I would very quickly refresh my makeup. There isn't much that needs doing. A tiny touch of the merit, just here. This is where I leave my makeup first. Tell you what, I am so urgently in need of a pedicure. It is absolutely ridiculous. So much in need that I've actually, <laughs> I've actually painted over my shellacked toes with nail varnish to try and fill in the gap in the interim because they looked so bad. And I actually lost, I actually lost some of the shellacs. So that's how long it's been, it, they've come off. And so I, um, <laughs> painted over them like you know it gets to die straight when you have to paint over um, existing shellac just want to warm me up a little bit as you can see i'm rushing because i have spent i've got so enthralled in doing my room 
that I now am losing time and what I'd like to do is go for a Starbucks before my nail appointment so that I can drink a Starbucks whilst getting the nails done. So I just need to hurry up in order to be able to get a Starbucks. I mean, I don't need to look amazing. I'm literally just going to get in a pedicure, but I just want to look a little bit fresher. This is really pretty. I found this recently, this Charlotte Tilbury. Such a pretty colour. Um, it's in shade Pillow, oh, it's Pillow Talk. Of course it is. I feel like Charlotte has so many incredible colours. Pillow Talk just isn't the one I ever really go for. But this, on the other hand, I love. Touch of Phoebe. And then a little bit of... A little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. Kim K in the middle. Lumine Setting Spray. That's the glowy version one. Let's just assess my outfit. I'll just take off my socks. Put on my... Chanel's. This room is now now super messy again, but I feel like I've done a really, really good job of the clear out, so I'm rather pleased. Oh wow, my cheeks really are really are going for it. Have I have I put on too much? Take a foundation brush and just reduce. YSL jacket. Touch of YSL Libre. Smell amazing. Okay, that'll do. Right, let's go get a pedi. on get a little bit chilly hey guys brought you into the gym um i got my toes i got my pedicure done and i'm so happy with it i went to a new place i've been looking for somewhere that's a little bit bit a little bit nearer to me and a bit more accessible to get to and i found somewhere so i'm so happy like i would usually go to dry by in london but I don't live in London and there's so many times where I need a pedicure quickly because I'm going away on a trip and I look down at my feet and go, oh my God. <laughs> and then I'm like, but I can't make it into London for the day, especially not just to go in for a pedicure. So I'm thrilled to bit. I found somewhere that's nearby. So then I nipped to m and got me and Alex um, a roast dinner, kind of all the bits of a roast dinner. Um, and I made plant-based sausages, cauliflower cheese, mashed potato, and vegetables. I just really, I just felt like I really wanted a lovely Sunday roast whilst we were back home. I thought it'd be quite nice to have. And now I'm going to do a workout because I don't know, I'm just feeling, I was going to go on the peloton and I still might. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, gorgeous boy. People can't see you down there because you're so tiny. You are so tiny. Hi. Oh God, I miss this baby dog so much. You off sis, you off sis again. I need to give you a brush, don't I? My little baby. Thank you. I know you love me too, don't you? Yes, you do. I just feel, I'm just, I'm going through a moment where I'm just feeling so deflated, just like super deflated. Um, <laughs> this always kind of happens around fashion month when it comes to like, working out the schedule and obviously looking at tickets that you get versus tickets that you don't get and all that sort of thing. Like I'm not going to pretend that I get invited to everything. I get invited to the things that I love luckily and you know I also turn down a lot of shows but there's still a lot of cool things that I'd love to go to that I've never been invited to. So it's so always good to have like a challenge and obviously every season I feel like I get to go to another show and another show but it's always that little like oh when you don't get a show, when you, when you don't get to go to a show that you would really, really like to go to. Anyone that does this job will know exactly the feeling that I'm feeling right now, although a lot of people would never admit it. And I mean, but this is why I like to vlog, because I like to be completely honest with you. I start to take it so personally. I start to feel like I'm not pretty enough. I'm not of a certain body type, or maybe I don't dress well enough. You know, I, I start going through all these things in my head, like things to do with my appearance and mind goes wild, doesn't it, when things like this happen, of like, what could it be? Like, why is the reason? At the same time, at the same time with perspective, the amount of insane shows that I'm going to the season is, is unreal. I think it's just because obviously I challenge myself so much and constantly aiming higher and higher and higher. And so when I take a slight little knockback, it hits me harder but then and then I just need to think about the perspective of what I get to do I'm so grateful and I'm so excited but I can't help but take it as like a personal blow you know so what I'm gonna do instead of going on the peloton because I'm just not feeling it I'm instead gonna do an arms legs and abs workout and then if I'm feeling it I'll go on the peloton as well
before I go to Milan because I know I'm not going to be able to work out in Milan and I don't want to lose my flow. I'm going to start packing tomorrow instead. I'm going to look at my schedule and start packing what I need for Milan. See you in the morning. The packing is currently going great. I've got a couple of my different looks in here. I'm just waiting on a few fittings to be organized so I know what I do and don't need to take. I've got all my shoes and all my bags, but I wanted to show you the wardrobe spaces. I'm like I said yesterday, I, I continued with my clear out. I've got this down much better now. This is like my more fancier dresses, longer dresses, which all swoop down the back. It's not ideal, but it's better than nothing and then here I have more kind of dressy blazers and I've taken away anything from the bottom so that they all can hang a little better so more formalized dresses more formal blazers and then in here this is where I keep my more day wear style dresses and jumpsuits so I've got a couple of jumpsuits I've got my silky dresses knit dresses and then more kind of camisole dresses here up there I have hoodies and down here I have like v-neck style um, or round neck jumpers. Pulled a lot out of here. And then finally in here we have roll necks, thick roll necks, and we also have a number of thick roll necks behind this too. Yeah, I have a number of thicker roll necks all kind of hidden in this little space. And then this, this in here is all of my different types of bralettes and bustiers. Just a really great place to store them all together. So if I'm looking for like a little bralette, I just come straight here. Then I have skirts hung up. And then I have a big mixture of little play suits and little dresses. So it's kind of split between smaller things like skirts and little dresses. And then longer dresses and then formal dresses. <laughs> and then in here, this makes me really happy. This is really organised. Here, again, these are roll necks. These are all roll necks, but thinner varieties of roll necks. This is skirts and shorts. That is white jeans and white trousers. That's my Holland Cooper collection. And then I've got wide leg jeans, thin leg jeans, skinny leg jeans, and then on top we've got um, stirrups, non-stirrup, and leather look. <laughs> um, there is definitely a method to my madness here. Um, I don't know if I've shown you this before, but this little shelving system was so handy for putting in here. Because again, this was just so, such a random space. That I don't know what I was meant to do with this so I bought this on Amazon for like 20 quid and it allowed me to create so much more space in here so that's so much better and then this is like I showed you yesterday pulled the Balmain blazer back into here because it's such an amazing blazer felt it needed to be back in here instead maybe I should take my Holland Cooper with me for this I could take my whole suit with me potentially for the for Milan as well yeah maybe I'll do that for one event so then I have the trousers in here these in here. There's definitely an event or an evening that I can wear my beautiful new collection to. So like I said, this is out October 11th and I actually can't wait. Right, that's it guys. I am packed up. I think I'm ready to go. I'm just going to put my makeup in here, skincare, and I am good.